So for about the last year, I've been dealing with a lot of chronic, kind of strange health things that went undiagnosed until a few weeks ago where I found out I had a brain tumor. Since then, it's obviously explained why I've been feeling the way that I've been feeling and the struggles that I've been having with my physical and mental health. I guess a lot of the things that I'm dealing with are, are chronic kind of pains and just like things going on with my, my body. Uh, I'll give you a, a quick rundown. Being tired all the time, brain fog, memory issues, which has just not helped with my mental health in the ways of just kind of being like depressed and down until I got diagnosed and I don't know why, but believe it or not, it was kind of a relief and it kind of boosted my mood because I finally knew what was going on with me. But uh, anyways, uh, the other things I'm dealing with are vision issues, having a lot of trouble seeing fine details and trying to focus on things. Uh, it just causes a lot of pain and pressure with my eyes. I've got 24 seven headaches and just like a burning sensation across the front of my head which on the days where it's really bad, it's it's more of a sharp stabbing pain, which means that I'm basically bedridden with my eyes closed and an ice pack on my head. Uh, another thing that I've been dealing with, which I don't know if it's related, I should probably make another appointment, but uh, over the last, I want to say, week to 10 days, I've started having a lot of trouble like, swallowing and just kind of like pain in my throat here. And just like getting food and water down has been a little more challenging and uh, brain tumors can cause some issues with that. So I need to get back in and have that looked at to see if, if there is something going on or, or just what the deal is. But I guess in this video talking about like being in pain, I feel like what I'm dealing with, like it, it sucks. It's not fun. I wouldn't wish it upon anybody, but I also feel like in a lot of ways I'm very lucky and I'm fortunate that this is all I have to deal with and how when I go in for surgery there's a pretty good chance that a lot of these issues that I'm having are all going to go away. You know I've, I've been dealing with some of this stuff for a matter of days, some of it's been weeks, others it's been months and some of it it's been for a year or longer now and you know I, I may still have to wait a couple months before I get in for surgery how things are in, in Canada right now and our health system. You know, going to the, the States or anywhere else really isn't an option. Like, I just, I don't have the finances for that, so I have to work with what I have within the, the Canadian system. You know, I'm, uh, I'm really not trying to, to diss it. I am very grateful for it, but there is room for improvement. Like, it, it used to be a lot better, but that's, that's all I'm going to say about that. Yeah, with everything that I'm dealing with, like, I'm grateful that it is only what it is, and I'm not trying to discredit what I'm going through, but there are people out there who are dealing with things that are so much worse than what I'm dealing with. There are people who have so much more pain than I have, who are suffering on a way worse level. There's other people who have chronic pain and chronic ailments, which have been going on their entire lives for years and years and years, and that's just kind of their their normal day-to-day -day life. Like, I I couldn't imagine. Like, I, I don't wish chronic pain and chronic suffering on anybody. Like, I, I can't imagine what some of these people go through, and I feel so bad for them, or just, like, my, my heart goes out to them. I have so much empathy for these people because I feel like what I'm experiencing is... It's just such a, a small taste of the pain and suffering that's actually out there in the world. I guess what a, a lot of these people deal with is it's totally invisible to the average person, which I, I became really aware of when I went to the grocery store the other day and just like walking through the store and how I'm having trouble seeing everything. I've got this pain, this pressure. I've got a, a fucking brain tumor in my head that's really messing me up, yet I'm, I'm at the grocery store grocery shopping and none of these people have any idea that I'm walking around with a brain tumor and that I'm feeling the way that I'm feeling. And it, it just made me wonder like how many of these other people that I'm running into throughout my day at a place like the grocery store are dealing with similar issues. Like how many other people out there have brain tumors or some other cancer or some other chronic illness or they're in pain or they're suffering whether it be 
physical or mental or emotional. There's just, there is a lot of pain and, and suffering that people are, are going through and we really have no idea. So I just became so aware of that the other day. It really made me wonder how many other people out there are living with invisible disabilities or ailments. You know, like a, a brain tumor, nobody would have any idea. Or, for example, it's, I don't know, it's kind of funny to me, the, the parallels, but like my sister had a really bad car crash and uh, the head injury that she sustained has caused her a lot of problems. So she's living with an invisible disability, which I, I think is really interesting. But it's one of those things, like if you've never met her and don't know that part of her story, like you'd have no idea running into her in the grocery store that uh, she's having major problems with her head. Or what's another example? Um, my partner Brandy, like she had a five-year battle with cancer and the way that that's affected her and her body and how, you know, she as well is living with an invisible disability that, you know, unless you know her and her story, you'd have no idea what she's been through just passing her by at the grocery store. So it just, uh, it really makes me wonder, like, how many people out there are dealing with these invisible things to the average person? Like, it's it's not obvious, like, something like... You know, being in a wheelchair, it's like that's pretty obvious if you run into somebody at the grocery store who's in a wheelchair. You, you kind of have some idea what's going on with them. And by the way, I spent a lot of time working with the disabled community and they're an amazing, hilarious bunch of people. I did some documentary filmmaking work and some photography for uh, some of the adaptive communities out there. So I'm very familiar with that world and more like noticeable, like visibly obvious disabilities. People in public respond to people with a visible disability a lot differently than somebody who has an invisible disability. Weird, huh? As I'm filming this video, I just realized like, I'm using the, the word disability. It's like, do I have a disability now? Like, am I disabled? I've never thought of myself that way or having a brain tumor, but I guess, wow, huh? If I'm <laughs> applying for disability and I'm kind of limited in a lot of ways then maybe I guess I do have a invisible disability right now. Yeah, weird. Never thought of myself as like disabled or sick or anything. I was just like, oh, I have a, a brain tumor and it's just affecting me in these ways and I'll get it out one day and life goes on. Anyways, I guess the, the whole moral of this video or the, the kind of conclusion or the kind of message that I want to get out there or share with the world or the, the awareness that I have now is that you really don't know what somebody is going through, like a complete stranger. So if, you know, you run into somebody who's maybe not in the, the best of moods or they seem to be struggling or they're they're mad, they're upset, they're, they're obviously going through something or I guess maybe just be aware that you, you don't know somebody else's story or what they're going through or where they're at or what they're struggling with or, you know, maybe they got diagnosed with a brain tumor or maybe cancer or a loved one died or they're struggling with their mental health. They're like, there's a million different things that could be going on with somebody who you don't know that you just run into in public. So I guess the, the message is just be kind. Just like be kind to everybody and those that you you don't know. Like if you don't know somebody's story, just just be kind to others. That's all. And I, I feel like there's less and less of that these days, especially in the online space. The amount of hate and the amount of trolls and just the amount of mean people out there that are spitting their, their poison out into the world and, and like their hurt and their pain and suffering. Like I wonder what what's going on with these these people who respond to things online in just like a very negative, very hurtful, very spiteful kind of way. Like I, I feel for those people more than, than anybody else because it's like, what happened to you? Like why do you hurt so bad? Like why are you putting that out there into the world? Like why is, is that your view or why is that your perception? Yeah, you, you just don't know what's going on with somebody. So just be kind, be nice. Take him with a grain of salt, because you just, you just don't know. I think that's all I'm going to say in this video, so thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.